Good day everyone and once again uh, we are meeting just to discuss a little bit of mathematics um, and I got this question paper from uh, the November 2021 paper. Uh, you know these are the calculus questions, you know application questions uh, where you have to minimize and maximize. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure that you do that. Uh, I just thought I'll just make a quick video just to discuss it because yeah, it did kind of give me a bit of a challenge, um, which I just thought I would share with you. Right now, it says after traveling a distance of 20 kilometers from home, a person suddenly remembers that he did not close a tap uh, in his garden. He decides to turn around immediately and return home uh, to close the tap, right? They say the cost of the water, okay, the rate at which uh, water is flowing out of the tap is 160 uh, per hour, right? So that's dependent on time, right? And then the cost of the petrol is that value there, uh, rents per kilometer, 1.2 plus X over 4,000 um, rents per kilometer. So that is dependent on kilometers, right? Uh, where, the, where X is the average speed in kilometers per hour. Now they say to you calculate the average speed, note, so it means they're saying solve for X or, uh, you know, determine X in this case, at which the person must travel home to keep the cost as low as possible. So remember, so when you're setting up, uh, for those of you who haven't watched our calculus series, uh, just make sure that you uh, you go and look at that so that, um, you know, it would kind of give you, yeah, go to playlists and look at calculus and you'll have all that you need there uh, in terms of theory. I'm just simply going to jump into the question. Right, now, first of all, there are two costs that we have to be mindful of here. The first cost has to do with, um, it's the cost of the water, and that cost is dependent in this case on, uh, they said it's 160 per hour. So it means that if I'm going to get the cost, I need to take the cost, right, and multiply it by time, or, or rather the, the cost per hour and multiply it by time. So it means I'm taking the rate uh, uh, at which they bill and I'm multiplying by time, all right, uh, because it's cost per hour. Right, so in this case, I want you to be very, very careful. In fact, before I even get to that, how would we determine time? So uh, I want you to think about it. This person was traveling 20 kilometers and they said the average speed is X. So for those of you who are doing physics, you know that uh, distance is equal to um, speed multiplied by time. Okay, so if we are talking about average velocity. Right, so we know the distance is 20 kilometers. We know the speed is x, and what time would that take? So, obviously, you're going to divide both sides by x to determine the time there. So, the time would be 20 over x. Right, so now let's take the cost okay, the rate of billing water. So, the rate at which they bill water. So, the cost of, in fact, let me just say the cost of water. OK, um, so the cost of water in terms of X in this case would simply be the rate at which they bill water, which is 1.6, 160 per hour. Right. Multiplied by the time in this case. Uh, and what is our time? It's 20 over X. OK, right. So if we multiply those, uh, we get a value of 32 over X. OK, right now. Very important. Um, so this is how we would calculate the cost of the amount of water. So the cost of water would simply be uh, measured by this formula. Now, secondly, we've got the cost of petrol, right? And I'll note the cost of petrol is dependent on, on what? On, on the, uh, so that's rands per kilometer, right? So it means it's dependent on the distance. So if we are going to get the cost of petrol in this case, or the amount of petrol that they would actually burn, it would be dependent on the amount of kilometers. But we already know how many kilometers did they travel? They traveled 20 kilometers. And we know 
that uh, in this case, the rate at which they built is 1.2 plus X over 4,000. So that would be 1.2 plus X over 4,000. Okay, so you've got two costs here, cost of water, cost of petrol. So um, in this case, we would simply say, well, 20 multiplied by 1.2. Um, so that would give us 24, right? Plus, um, so if we say 20 uh, over 4,000, okay? So you see that two goes into um, itself once, and then it goes into four. Um, so I will get one over, or X over 200, in fact. So that will be X over 200, okay? Right, so that's the easier way of expressing that, okay? So in this case, now I've got two costs, cost of petrol, cost of water. So the total cost, okay, would be the two together. So I would have um, 24 plus X over 200, um, plus 32 over x. Okay, now remember that is what we are trying. We are trying to to maximize to minimize rather. So how do we minimize? Please remember we always take the derivative and make it equal to zero, right? So we're going to take the derivative of that and make it equal to zero. So what would be the derivative? So 24 is a constant; it goes away, and in this case we are uh, going to be left with one over 200, so that's our derivative, okay? Uh, remember, this is the same as simply having uh, 1 over 200 uh, x plus, in fact, let me write it this way, that's 20, 32 x to the power minus 1, uh, or to the exponent, rather, uh, uh, x minus 1. So this would be 1 over 200 um, uh, minus 32 Okay, so that that's minus 32 x exponent minus 2. And remember, we said we are going to make that equal to 0. Okay, we took the derivative, made it equal to 0. Now let's try to solve. Uh, in this case, if I take this uh, to the other side, I'll have 1 over 200 left on this side. I'll have 32 over... Now, remember, 32x uh, to the exponent minus 2 can be written as uh, 32 over x squared. Okay, please, I hope that you know that. Okay, so all we're going to do now is cross multiply x squared times 1. That's going to be x squared. And we've got 32 times 200 times 200. And I get uh, 6,400. So this is going to be... Uh, 6,400. Okay, so we're going to take the square root of our answer. So I get a value of x is equals to 80. And remember, x is the average speed. So that must be in kilometers per hour. All right. Uh, I hope that was uh, quite easily um, explained and, you know, that you were able to understand it. All right, so I will continue to just throw in these random, random questions. Please let me know what else you'd like to, uh, uh, you know, uh, see me do, okay, in preparation for your exams. Um, you know, I, I would try to assist as much as possible. All right, ladies and gents, I'll come back again next time just with one of those nice, yummy questions. See you again next time. Shop, shop.